Hi, welcome back. In this video, we are going to take a look into how to create a REST API design for post resource. So this is the REST API design for post resource. And I have basically created a table over here and I have created a few columns in a table like HTTP method, URL path, status code, description. And we can create a few more columns like uh, REST API request structure and response structure and the media type, etc. But to keep it simple, I have created these four columns. All right. And I have listed all the REST APIs for post resource and these REST APIs we are going to develop in upcoming videos. And this REST API design will help us whenever we develop REST APIs for this post resource. For example, look at here, I have listed get all post REST API, get post by ID, create new post, update existing post with ID, delete post by ID pagination and sorting APIs. So these are the list of REST endpoints for post resource. And I have added few, you know, details for each REST API. For example, get all post REST API will handle HTTP get method. And the REST endpoint URL is API slash post and status code is 200. And similarly for get post by ID, this REST API will handle HTTP GET method and this is a REST endpoint URL and in case of GET POST BY ID we need to pass ID like this this is the URL template variable and the status code is 200 so this REST API should return a status code 200 similarly create new POST REST API will handle POST HTTP request with HTTP POST method and the REST point URL is this and the status code this REST API returns 201 that is created. Similarly for update existing post REST API. So it handles a put request with put HTTP method and this is a REST point URL and status code is 200. Similarly delete post by the REST API handles delete request with delete HTTP method and this is the REST endpoint URL and the status code is 200. And in case of pagination sorting, this is the, uh, you know, REST endpoint URL. We use page size, page number, sort by and sort direction parameters to provide a pagination and sorting support for get all post REST API. So this is the, you know, typical REST API design for post resource. So you can add few more information about these REST APIs uh, in this table like you can add a few more columns like request format for each REST API, response format for each REST API and the media type for each REST API. Okay, so we are going to use a JSON as a media type. We will send a you know JSON request and we will get a JSON response for these all REST APIs. Alright, this is a pretty much about you know how to create a REST API design for post resource. So it's always a good practice guys. Whenever you want to create a REST API for any resource, then make sure that you will create a design like this. Create a table and add a columns like this and just list out all the information about all the REST APIs so that this design will help us as a developer whenever we develop these REST endpoints. So we'll see in up upcoming videos how this REST API design will help uh, to developer to develop REST endpoints. Alright, great.